What's up guys, it's Athrenj, also known as Benji, and welcome to a quick-ish tutorial today. Um, it's how to install, run, set up, add RAM to a server in Minecraft, basically. So there is three links in the description and also a line argument. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So the first link will be the Java. You need Java 64-bit installed to allocate RAM to your server. If you don't have 64-bit, you can't do it. So first link, click it, click Java download right in the center, big red button. Um, down, instead of clicking agree and start free download, not the right operating system, click see all Java downloads and install Windows offline 64-bit. And then just click that, install it. You don't have to save it, just download it, open it, run, run, accept, yes, 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 and allow it to like remove your old versions of Java and just get this new one because this is what you need. Um, you can then close that. You also need Hamachi. So this is basically like you create a private network. It's sort of, it's technically a VPN, but it's a VPN that's like promoted to allow you to join other networks. As in like, if you create this, your friend can join you and you can join your friend and yeah. So obviously click download now and install it and close that. And the third link is this. So mcversions.net, you can basically install any server that you want or any client that you want and any yeah, anything. My dog is jumping around everywhere. She's just made herself home in my pillows. Anyway, um, say um, as of today, which is the 13th of the 11th, 2019, or sorry for Americans, it's the 11th of the 13th. Um, 1.14.4 is the latest like official version. Uh, this is like the snapshots, so basically 1.15, but you don't want to, want to run a server in a snapshot. But if you do, then you click that, or whatever one you want. I just want 1.14.4, so I'll click on the server jar, and keep that. And then it's only 34 megabytes, it shouldn't take too long. Now, when that is downloading, you want to go to like your home screen, or wherever you want it. Type, or click new folder and I'm just going to call it server tutorial my C and V key are in the wrong spot on my keyboard anyway um, you want to drag the folder that you just downloaded into there and you can close Chrome completely uh, if this isn't named server make sure it is I'll tell you why in a second but first you just want to double click and run and it, it only takes like a few seconds. Um, four folders or three other folders pop up. Server properties, the EULA and the logs. You want to open the EULA, change what is false to true. So it's basically agreeing to their terms and conditions. You can go to it here if you want to. It's basically just don't use our server inappropriate, inappropriately. And yeah. Now you can double click the server.jar folder again. And then heaps of more folders will pop up and also probably my IP just did as well maybe possibly if you're doing this for the first time you're better off not doing it on stream or on camera just in case something does pop up but I don't think anything did so basically your server can be um, like worked on right now like you can you can join it and everything your friends can join it um, but we don't want to do that. We want we want to get some RAM. So you want to type in stop in the little command bar here. Click enter and it closes it. So now what you want to do is go into your task manager. So you can do that by right clicking down the bottom and clicking task manager or control alt deleting and then selecting task manager. Uh, you want to go to more details and performance. So I have 16 gigabytes of memory, which is RAM. So that means, like, technically, if I wanted to, I can dedicate, like, 12 gigabytes, but you don't really need anything more than 8 if there's 
a couple people on. So what I'm going to do is copy what I have over here, which is this. So this is four gigabytes maximum, one gigabyte minimum, but we are going to be changing that. So what you want to do is in the new folder that you created, the server, whatever you call it, right click, click new text document. I'm just going to call it run because that's what you're going to use to run. And you want to paste the line argument that is in the description, which it should be this or yeah, it should be this. So that is four gigabytes because one gigabyte is 1024. Two gigabytes is 2048. Three gigabytes is 3072. Four gigabytes is 4096. So it basically goes up by 1024. But I'm going to dedicate eight or allocate, which would be one, um, 8192. So basically, the minimum it will be using is four gigabytes, and then the maximum is eight. Now you want to file, save as all files dot bat save so bat means batch so it's like a uh, a runnable file it should look like a little settings cog i'll show you it should look like that but obviously if you don't have it shown like that then it's fine and i need to change the back list and then run the dot bat file so this will pop up this is basically another console that everything will be on and then yeah so as you see here once it all loads up I'll start Minecraft now as well as you see here it's 95% free and it's using 400 so before it was using the same amount but it was also at like 30% free just because there's only one gigabyte allocated which is the default so I'm just going to launch up Minecraft 1.14, play. I'll quickly show you all how to op as well. So in the console, you can use this as a console as well if you want to, but you can just type in this, type in op your username and it will op you as you see made i and GYT a server operator. So if you go to multiplayer, direct connect, you if you are running the server can type in local host and it will connect you to it but your friends will need to copy your your IPv4 address from from Hamachi so from once you're opting game you can type in stop and it stops as well and then this should close as well um, let's go over to Hamachi yeah when you get a new like Hamachi, you, uh, you'll get asked to like sign up, log in, everything, it's free. Just enter your email and it's done. Uh, it should look like this when you first get it actually. Offline, click power on. Network, create a network once it powers on. And then call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to say y YT tut and then the password would be the same yt tut like youtube tutorial and then what they want to do what your friends want to do is when they join it or what they do to join it sorry is join an existing network and then it would be but obviously i'm already a, mem a member of it so i can't um that would right click here like right click your name and copy IPv4 obviously it's blurred out because it's my IP and don't want you all to see it but you would copy it and then if I run the folder again run the file again and type it in here blurred you should be able to join it once it like fully runs when you have eight gigabytes allocated to your server like it basically will never lag 
it will only lag if you have like six people on and you're all fighting in the ender dragon and spawning 10 withers in at once like it's it won't it should not lag every now and then there might be some um little like freezes for like a millisecond but that is just minecraft in general it does that in single player um yeah so that is that you can t type stop a minecraft server i can show you how to change that as well so uh this is all stopped yeah cool uh, you can go over to server properties, server dot properties, and open it as a notepad, and it comes up with like everything about your server. So instead of it saying a Minecraft server, it can say i three ngs world, and then um, max world size. You can change that. Max players. You can change that to be a hundred if you want. Enable command blocks. If you want to be doing like redstone and some teleporting stuff, change that to true. Um, op permission, I mean, you can change that if you want. Difficulty, easy, normal, hard. Allow nether, true, obviously. Force game mode. If you want to make it, if you want to make like an actual server, um, this is a bit different than what we're doing. But if you want to force the game mode so that spawners like survival that's what you do change it to true um spawn protection if you want that uh, you can enter a resource pack here as well that you have installed and there was one more i think allow fly somewhere as well allow flight so if you don't want to get kicked for flying, I would change that to true, just because it could be a bit glitchy. View distance as well, I would recommend changing that to 16, just so you know you can see. And change that, save it, and then when you run it again, it should change from a Minecraft server to Ithrengi's world, is that what I called it? I can't really remember. I called it Ithrengi's Whirl. Whirl. Anyway, yeah. So that is that. 13 minutes. Not too bad for setting up a server and allocating RAM and everything. So obviously I had to, um, I had to blur some stuff out because it's my IP and I'm not using a VPN to like change my IP. I don't know how to do that stuff, which is surprising. But uh, yeah, so remember, you need 64-bit Java for this to work. Um, you you can still run a server if you don't have 64-bit. It's just you can't allocate any more than like the 512 megabytes that it already uses or something like that. Um, yeah, that's basically it if you all have any questions comment down below ask away um, again the three links are in the description and also the line argument obviously you have to work out what's good for your computer if you only have eight gigabytes of ram don't allocate like six i probably wouldn't even allocate four to be honest just in case but i have like six allocated to minecraft and then also eight to my server so that means i only have like two wiggle room but i mean it's up to you guys risking risking it then nothing will happen something will just crash like probably minecraft and then if anything does happen if you op a friend who's on the server they can just type slash stop if your computer's not working and then it should work but yeah i guess that is everything uh if you want to whitelist people as well if you want to make it a private server you can whitelist just type their name in the brackets here, so it'd be like that. But you don't need a whitelist. You can also ban IPs, ban players if you really, if you really want to, because when people join, you can see where they join from in the console, like their IP. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, also, if you want to change the world, delete it. 
and then just start up the server again and it will spawn a new one in for you in a second once it finishes loading everything see a new one so it basically starts fresh if you want to add like a map like a skyblock for example you would need to like download the skyblock folder put it in there and it would be called skyblock 2.1 or whatever it is change it to world whatever whatever map you have in here it has to be called world otherwise it won't work but yeah unless you obviously change it in here yeah like there okay took me a while to find it but level name world um if you change it to like skyblock and the world in here is called skyblock then it should work but you're better off just keeping it as world just because it's default it's easy but yeah I'll stop this guy and we're done so I hope this helped everyone if it didn't comment what's going what's going on if you just say it doesn't work then I probably I most likely won't be able to help you because I don't know what's happening um, if your Java doesn't work install something called Jarfix J A R F I X install it from either like the Java website or some other program um, some other website sorry but yeah if you have any specific problems comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out and obviously recommend this to your friends show them the video if you can't get it working maybe they can uh, yeah enjoy it, everyone peace